I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Shawn Michaels. Uh, choose from the guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? This is your chance to say you're kidding. I'm not. It's cool. I'll do it. Sean, that's really not necessary. Look, if I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I'm not the HBK I used to be, but one thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you got, kid. Let's go, Sean. Teach him why you're the showstopper. Sorry, I was a big fan. Old habit.
I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. I said I was gonna make an impact, and that's exactly what I did. It was a risk, and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. He said he was impressed, and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. Now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this was one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. What the hell was that? What do you mean? I mean calling out Shawn Michaels on your first day. There are unwritten rules to follow here. There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? I think I'm the top prospect now. No, just because you caught an old timer off guard doesn't make you the top anything. That title still belongs to me and everyone here knows it. That's not what Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind going forward. Just so you know, I'm not cool with how you acted on your first day. Challenging Shawn Michaels might have worked out, but it isn't how we do things around here. So I'm not trying to be cute or anything, but you're in my doghouse. Let me save you some time. If you're looking for some kind of apology or for me to admit I was wrong, it's not going to happen. Fine. If I can't talk some sense into you, then maybe I can get through to you in the ring. Are you saying you want me in a match? Damn straight. You and me today, one on one. 
I don't know what you think you're going to accomplish, but I'm going to beat another Hall of Famer. And if you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. Too bad.
So, Road Dog and I were thinking, since apparently you want to stand out so much around here, that we should come up with some new ways to challenge you. What you have in mind? One of my favorites is what I'm calling show up or throw up. Basically, you have to do 500 squats and then wrestle chase without throwing up. I think I'd rather skip the squats and show what I can do to chase in a normal match. Well, I don't have a catchy title for that. But if that's what you prefer, we'll make it happen.
Tango una gran oportunidad para ti. That's Spanish, for I got a big opportunity for you.
Ignoring your terrible Spanish for a second, what's the opportunity? WWE was contacted to send a PC student to El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. They actually requested Hector, but for some reason he doesn't want to do it. So if you're interested, we'll have a triple threat between you, Paragon, and Chase to decide who will go to face El Mago's son, El Mago Jr., at the event. Reservar mi vuelo, which means book my flight. I only looked up that one sentence, so I'll take your word for it. Whoa! 